ever wondered if you can supplement on a Dollar Tree mug? Does it have to be a polymer coated mug? Or can we supplement on Dollar Tree mug? Stay tuned to find out. To my, if you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about crafting on a budget. I do Cricut supplementation and kid craft videos. So if any of those things interest you, please consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family, and let's get into the video, guys. For this um, project, we're gonna need a Dollar Tree mug, some heat tape, and some butcher paper, and your design. We're gonna prep our mug, and by in order to prep our mug, we're just gonna wipe it with our hands you can also use some rubbing alcohol if you would like to clean it some more just rub 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 so dollar tree mugs are not made out of a polymer coating like sublimation mugs are so we'll, we're going to be testing it and seeing if we can sublimate on it so we're going to take our design oh this mug is tapered okay so we're going to cut our design. I'm going to just do one side at a time. Make sure it's even. Then you're going to take some heat tape. And we're just going to tape both sides of it. You don't really need to worry about taping the top or bottom because it's not going to move. You see, it's not going to move. So now we're going to do the other side. This other side does have a little flaw there, but that's fine. And make sure our design is correct. Make sure it's even on there. And then we're going to take some sublimation heat tape. Going to tape both sides again. And now we're ready to go to the heat press. So this is my mug press. This is from Pro World. It's the Trans Pro Mug Press. I've had it for maybe almost a year, I think. So I'm going to turn it on. So I'm going to set it at 380 for 220 seconds, which is what I normally always do. And I'm going to wait till it gets to 385. And this, this mug press retails for $199. And it has a one year warranty on it and it heats up really fast which I really love about it I don't have to wait for it to heat up for 15 minutes it heats up within a few minutes like it's already at 200 degrees so it heats up really really fast so it's almost heated up it's at 371 so I'm gonna take some heat tape and I'm just gonna tape um, the butcher paper onto the mug Ugh hard to do with one hand and I'm not sure how well this is gonna work because this is a, it's a tapered mug and normally I always um, just have regular mugs so I'm gonna put it in I'm gonna slide it in so maybe I'll do part of it at a time so I'm gonna take Turn on the timer and let it go for 220 seconds. Okay, so the mug is cooled down now. So we're going to open up, um, take off the sublima sublimation paper and see if it's sublimated onto the mug or not. Okay, ready? Let's, let's, let's look together. Oh, nope. Not at all. We'll check the other side now. And nothing. So the answer is you cannot supplement on Dollar Tree mugs at all. There nothing. Nothing. Oh. So you can't sublimate on them. They are not sublimatable. But. I wonder something. If you. Hmm, that's going to be a video. I'm not going to tell you. Anyways. So you cannot sublimate on these. If you want to know why you can't sublimate on these. I will be making a video coming out soon. That will talk about sublimation. What it is. 
um, why you can supplement on certain things and why you can't supplement on other things and all of that jazz. I will explain it all. So stay tuned for that video. If you do want to see what it's like to supplement on a real supplementation mug, watch my video on how to supplement on a mug that will be linked in the cards above. You can also watch my other supplementation videos that are on my supplementation playlist. And I'll also link that above if you're new to supplementation. Make sure to check out my video where I share everything you need to get started with supplementation. And I'll also link that in the cards above.